Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ian back here with another reaction video. Today we're about to be checking out another video by Dylan. This is Wendy Williams Shady Moments Part 3. Yeah, we're just gonna keep this train going. We're just gonna keep these Wendy Shady Moments going since y'all seem to like them. There's like 48 parts of them, so this will can probably take me to what? <sighs> with the, you know, chance that it continues to go because her show is still on the air. Yeah, it'll be December and I'll still probably be reacting to Wendy Williams Shady Moments because it says Antoine tribute in the title too, so we're probably gonna get some clips of him in there. I like him. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what messy things Wendy does in this video. Let's see. <laughs> and I'm also a, a good Christian girl from no a the hell you, well. What church would let you in the, the front door? Others, but we didn't no, Suzanne, don't say what. Yeah, Suzanne's on the right page. Who's gonna let Might as well be me. Girl. I know I share a lot of myself on this show, but I've got a secret I've been keeping for a, a while. And it's time that I just let it out. She looks amazing in purple. See, why do you have to do all this? It happens every Monday night. It's my fascination with the reality show Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. There, I said it. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. Why was that groundbreaking news? Damn it, man. Atlanta's the best Love and Hip Hop. Without a doubt. I watch it twice. I watch it the first time. Okay, that's a little just, much. Just check it out. And the second time, like, did I just see that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. The show makes me embarrassed to be black. <laughs> Oh, I'm not the only one, right? Right? But let me just say this to everybody else who watches the show who's not black. This does not represent all of us. Doesn't accurately represent Atlanta either for everybody that sees the show. I want to move to Atlanta now. Broadway is closed down on Monday nights. I did a secret dance. I was like, yes! Not Kirk and And that marriage drama is still going on in like the 10th season. Mondays, which means I'm always free to watch my love and hip hop Atlanta. Last night I watched it with a pork chop and some buttered noodles. I was just like, girl. But on, in other news regarding these two, according to the New York Daily News, Kanye is close that to they are now question. divorced. Jay-Z reportedly told Kanye that being married is more fulfilling than being a baby's daddy. Yeah, being married to Beyonce is more so. <laughs> Pitbull. Mm. No, you're not, not so woo without the sunglasses. Look at him without the sunglasses. Doesn't he look like the Austin Powers man? Yeah. She is shady. And I know that you recently cut all your hair off. Yes, I did. So, what's this wig? Oh, you know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to blow it out because I'm going to ruin my hair. Well, you've been blowing in, in, in the studios in Hollywood for all of your life. What the fuck? <laughs> what? New York. Um, I was about to say, the way she worded that was just, you know, piss poor. I'm here to remind you, allegedly. Dress is nice though. Countess, there she is. Oh, I know. <laughs> you said the same thing I did. Oh, she needs a little root realness, to, mm -hmm. a, little, a little something or another. Are you wearing blue contacts? That is so mm -hmm. 1982 Oprah. <laughs> but uh, Monica didn't do anything that any one of us wouldn't do put in that position. I certainly would be friendly with Bill Clinton had I been in that position. Can't blame a hoe for doing what hoes do. Oh, damn. Why Monica Lewinsky got to be a hoe? I'm apologizing. Take a look. And I never want to be anything but a positive influence on my babes or my loves or anyone who pays attention to me for that matter. What is a... Suzanne, what is a babe? I hope she's not calling me a babe. Her fans, well, girl. That, that might be like an Ariana Grande... Like, wait, hold on. Is that Boys, a glam? What is a babe? 
So what if she called her friends Arianators? Arianators? But I don't know what a band. An Arianator? What is that? Like a lamb? Oh, man, it's her lamb. It's her That's like a Wendy watcher? Annoying yeah. ass people. Oh, I said it. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. An Arianator. <laughs> That's a horrible name. Probably shouldn't have said that. Y'all about to come for me. Whatever. Y'all can come for me. She could breathe and y'all would... I don't know. I love her though. She's extremely talented. She's the best vocalist in ad pop up. She is the most talented vocalist of this generation, but y'all. This is a great dish to get started with. Oh! Those are good. Poor Kim. I wonder if she regrets marrying that madman. And he's a madman, and inside he proves that he's the madman. I've been telling you all along that he is. What happened, madman? What happened? I'm just saying, Ricardo Tichy's birthday party, or, or no, party at Ricardo Tichy's house. Now, you know, that's Kanye's special friend who designs for Givenchy. Oh, you trying uh -huh. to insinuate something there? <laughs> Ricardo Tichy. But Kanye, how you doing? You stay talking about Kanye. That's huh? a whole nother story. Who's coming on the show tomorrow, Jess? It is well, Tristan would know, so when's he coming back? Tomorrow. Perfect. My Emmy Award winning uh, hairstylist. He already has one Emmy for Best Hair on Daytime TV from last year. And he has a pin light on it on a pedestal at his house. Are you bisexual or are you gay? Gay, gay. Being gay. <laughs> Just like the cream. Being gay. Girl, what the Being hell? Gay. <laughs> Why she just Ali like oh, asked him that? Oh, Antoine. That's what he said. When I first met Antoine, I think I told you the story. I didn't know what he was. All I knew is that there was a man with some muscles stinking up the glamour suite. And I don't like men coming in here for no reason. I mean, yeah. Tristan comes in, a few of my producers, that's it. So now here comes Wig sitting there. And I'm just, and he was filling in. He was filling in for my main hair person. But it was like awkward, you know, because we're when I'm in here, like with the glamps, we're very girly. Yeah. And he's that's coming in. I think he started filling in during the summer when he's wearing tank tops and muscles, yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah. sticking up the room with testosterone. Girl. Even my husband was like, "Okay, did he ask you directly?" He said, "Your biceps are a little bit too big for me to leave you alone with my wife." Yeah. And I, it took me a, a, a moment before finally sniffing around and asking, because I don't just assume because a man does hair that he's gay. And I don't assume because a man, Girl, um, you, know, you, you know, styles clothes or whatever. I mean, I've, gr I've grown a lot because I used to have those stereotypes, but mm -hmm. that is not necessarily true. Um, so you can assume like a guy plays football that he's straight. There you go. Blue, blue, blue. blue. <laughs> And, you know, people, when they come for the first time, we're a loud bunch. My co-hosts are loud. Yes. <laughs> but you have a way of bringing that out of people. They feel so comfortable. Well, it's a gift. Okay, she's so <laughs> modest. Do you think I take good care of my natural hair? I think so. Well, I know I've so. never seen her natural hair. Yeah, it's fine. Not yeah, fine. Really. But it's, it's fine. That was a read. That was a read. It kind of was. Fine as in thin. <clears throat> What's the best way to revive curly weave wigs buy some new hair <laughs> okay Stop you say get your ass in the store and buy okay. some <laughs> oh, i'm going home i'm going home wig i just tried this on and what happened a mess what happened? god damn behind <laughs> the camera <laughs> mess what the fuck you know what let's take it back home there we go should I just take this back home and put it in my yeah, window? You can just put that somewhere else. We did it, though. I don't mind leaving it here. Maybe you want to dye it? It actually don't look too yeah. bad. It should be, you know what it should be? It's the too light. It's from the six-week sneak peek. Oh, I know. Do you want to bring it to the slumber party on Thursday and put it on Morel? <laughs> Ro. Yeah. Probably Ro. Ro wouldn't wear that. What would you wear? What would he wear? That was a controversy. Is that she is controversy. Why is the stool that I bought from my house for your office out there? I don't even tell you what happened. Oh, well, he could use it. You want a stool? No. Well, I'm taking it back home. I'm you what happened. What? I didn't need it. <laughs> His laugh. I'm still not sure. What are you unsure about? I like that wig. I think it is. Okay, I was just telling the after show that I respect your vision 
and that's Thank why I didn't you. take it off. But you know what? It's very nice of him. He said, would you like to change wigs? Okay. And, I, and I said, because I was complaining, mm -hmm. and I said, nope, you're the visionary, you're the one with the Emmy, so apparently you know better. Yeah, but your name is on the so if you want to change wigs... I mean, he's not wrong. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to see if you can get your own wig. Yeah. You don't necessarily want to exercise it, you just want to see. You sit up straight. Yeah. I've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning, okay, you, you sit up straight. Uh-oh. Shut up, Pharrell. Girl, hush. <laughs> 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 she is so goddamn loud for no reason. upsetting what the hell what happened well may he rest in peace he did he looked like he had an amazing time on wendy's show i hope she did like a nice tribute for him um this video wasn't as shady like this seemed like this was more her like having good moments and laughing backstage and laughing on stage they weren't she wasn't taking too many digs at people which is usually what she's doing in these shady videos but this one was kind of toned down compared to like the first couple two that I watched, this one was very much so toned down. So it's nice to see that side of Wendy where she's not just consistently reading somebody for filth. She's kind of like, you know, letting people breathe, letting people live for a minute and just kind of joking and talking shit backstage. Like good humor fun, like, you know, not actually digging people. But anyways, yeah, nice Wendy clips. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. You guys let me know what other reactions you wanna see from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.